not in the back. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. This is Paul. This right here is an apple bag. And yes, there's a product inside this bag that I said I would not buy. You've already seen from the title and the thumbnail anyway, but it is the MagSafe battery by Apple. So without any further ado, let's unbox it. Let's talk everything MagSafe battery. Um, yeah. Now I know when I've done the video on the Anker Powercore Magnetic 5K, linked right here for you to check out. I did say if Apple bought their own one out, I would not buy it, as this was good enough. Apple bought out a new shiny box, Paul goes out and he buys it. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the bag, get it out and let's unbox it together. Okay, let's get rid of the bag. And there it is, there is the new iPhone battery pack with MagSafe only comes in the one colour it's £99, £99 and I believe 129 Canadian if obviously you live over there but I did say I wasn't gonna with I'm thinking about keeping all of the 12 Pro Max for another year make some content with it and then look at upgrading next year not this year but from what I've seen with the 13 or 12 S it's not much of an upgrade so let's spin it round you peel off the green tab at the back like so and then it's short all up like that nothing else in that side there is the MagSafe battery pack you got your little paperwork designed by Apple in California you got your usual books and stuff your warranty information safety guide and no wire that's the thing that shocked me a little bit I did think Apple would include some kind of cable to be able to charge this up but they never as obviously just to buy that separately or use your iPhone one there it is so let's go ahead and take the protective wrapping off it's not plastic anymore okay so seeing it for the first time it does feel nice i always worry about stuff like this because it's not silicone like the other cases used to be you know when it was a basically a one and done type of situation where you bought the battery case and it was game over once your phone was done nice rubberized texture on one side the magsafe logo of course which matches not far off anchor's version right here there it is for size comparison anchor one is a little bit shorter but it is quite a lot thicker not by much but enough so that's the anchor one that is the magsafe one so let's bring in the iphone okay so here is my iphone 12 pro max with the genuine apple leather case and of course the magsafe wallet in tan so if we take that off and if we go ahead and slap the magnetic power bank on the back okay so by the looks of it i've got no charge in mine whatsoever but that's basically what you're gonna see when it's on the back of the phone that's how much thickness it adds it does feel a bit bulky it adds a bit of weight and heft to the iphone as well i do actually like that so let's go ahead and let's take off the case and let's see what it looks like when it's just on the back of the iphone okay so there is the pacific blue 12 pro max let's go ahead and slap this on and just like that it's connected to the phone with magsafe definitely stuck on there that's going nowhere which is quite good because that one does tend to slide a little bit a lot of people asked a lot of few questions you know if you have the magsafe wallet will it fit over the top the answer is of course no of course not can you wirelessly charge this battery pack with your iphone down on it the answer of course is no you cannot do that the thing that you can do is you can actually use this to charge other devices it will work as a wireless charger if you place it down like so and place the likes of say airpods or maybe a different phone manufacturer such as samsung place it over this and it will charge those devices pretty much same with this one if you put it down it will charge other devices so as i'm running ios 15 my information on my phone's a little bit different to someone running 14.7 right now so if i was to put this on the back of the iphone and it'd snap into place it'd just tell me it was charging and it wouldn't give me the logo information that i was after if i open the phone go across to batteries it doesn't show the magsafe charger it shows that something is plugged into the phone but that's how much charge i've just got off literally 20 minutes of being plugged in the battery pack was empty it doesn't show me an awful lot of detail because i'm running the ios 15 beta 
hopefully in the next couple of days there's a new update for iOS 15 and we should see a better integration of the MagSafe battery pack. I would love to be able to show you more and I will show you more as soon as I get the update. I'll do a YouTube short showing you everything that they've sorted out with iOS 15. Let's talk about a couple of key things with the MagSafe battery pack. Now if you plug this in to the bottom of the, the MagSafe battery pack because you can't wirelessly charge it, you can this will charge the battery pack and the iPhone. If you plug a wire into the iPhone, it will charge the phone and the battery pack as well. So people are confusing this with reverse wireless charging. That's not the case, but it will charge the battery pack on the back of the phone. Examples of where this could happen is say you've got a car with Apple CarPlay and you need to plug in because it's wired CarPlay. It will charge the phone and it will charge the battery pack too. Now for me, key moments where I'd use this, I'll go back to it time and time again, even though we haven't been there for quite a while, is the likes of theme parks. You're out for the day, you're shooting video, you're shooting pictures, you're replying to people, you're tweeting, Instagramming, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. Your battery is going to deplete quite fast. And then, you know, you throw this on the back and away you go. I do wish they would have done it in a different colour. I do wish there would have been, like, say, the colour of the phone or the black leather from the iPhone cases you know, the blue silicone, etc. I'm glad they didn't use silicone on it because I know the silicone looks a bit faded and weird after some time it starts to go in the corners. So I'm quite happy they didn't go with that. It does look good. I am a tiny bit concerned about dirt issues, but I'll see what happens when I get a bit of dirt on it. I'll come to wipe it off to see how it's gonna go. But also as well, just like the magnetic wallet, feel putting it in the pocket, take it in and out. Let's do a pocket test. question to you guys is would you pick one of these up yourself would you pick up the anchor version would you pick up another version let me know in the comments down below i'm going to leave this as well as some of these linked down below there too using amazon affiliate links be sure to check them out but let me know in the comments what you think of apple's magsafe battery pack i for one wasn't a fan when it got announced but now it's here and it's on the back of the phone i do actually like it as i say i'll bring you an updated video when ios 15 gets updated let me know in the comment section what you think of this battery pack from apple is it worth it is it just a big waste of money let me know in the comments thanks so much for watching guys i truly truly appreciate it as always drop a like if you liked it subs if you loved it turn those notifications on and I'll catch you in the next one. So stay safe, take care, and I'll see you all soon. Do you like that, or would you prefer rap?